to Sew Me Sunshine, it's Celia again. Thank you so much for all your orders this week, we really appreciate it. Lisa and I are in the studio today and we thought it would be a really good idea to talk to you about outerwear, so all things coats and jackets and capes, etc. So we're going to show you some fabrics and some patterns today. So first up we thought we would show you the Heather Blazer by Friday Pattern Company. It's a really great piece for layering, it's kind of cross seasonal so you can wear it all year round. Um, it's also a really good uh, pattern if you're just getting into jacket making. The fabric that we chose for this pattern is this um, chenille check coating in black and white. It's also got a bit of a sparkle running through it, so festive. Um, and we thought it would be really nice to line this jacket with a black and white polka dot. This is a, a Lady McElroy fabric and it's called Dotty About Dots and we thought this combo would look really amazing together. Okay, so next up we have this beautiful felt coating. It's black and it has this striped floral design running through it which has been felted into it, so it's got a slight texture to it which is just lovely. It can also be used either this way or this way. Um, for this fabric, we thought it'd be really nice to um, use with the Yates coat by Grainline Studio. Um, it's a really nice coat and it's fully lined as well. Um, so we've got a lot of sand wash satins and they're really good for lining. They're really soft um, and really shiny so you can slip in and out of your coat. Um, and we chose this pink lining which goes really nicely with this, uh, with the pinks in the floral design. Um, and we're really excited to see this used in coating. Another option for coating and jackets is jumbo cord and we've got loads of lovely jumbo cord in loads of colours in at the moment um, and but we love pink in this studio so we've chosen the pink for the stacker jacket by paper cut patterns there are lots of options pockets um, sleeves that sorts of things for this jacket um, it does need to be lined and for the winter months we thought it'd be lovely to line it in one of these really nice warm flannels that we have. This one's called Summer and as you can see it goes really nicely with the pink because it's got pink running through it. Um, and it also needs buttons and now we do sell some big buttons. We've got a couple more designs of big button coming in in the next few weeks but at the moment we've got these Paige Joanna um, Pigeon Wishes collaboration buttons which are called Pick and Mix. Um, it calls for like a two and a half centre to two and a half centimetre to three centimetre button um, so keep that in mind. Okay, so next up we're going to show you some quilted jackets. Now quilted jackets are really good for the colder months for layering, but you can also wear them into spring and summer, which is great. So the first up is the Hovia by Megan Nielsen. Now this one, you can either make it as a quilted version or you can make it out of like boiled wools or felted fabrics. We're going to show you some options for the quilted version. Um, the fabric that we've chosen is this really beautiful cotton lawn. It's called the Renfleur um, and it's got this big floral print which we think would lend itself really nicely to being quilted and the lining we've chosen is yet again the sand washed satin as i said before it's just a really good um fabric for lining because it's lightweight um and it'll go really nicely with this fabric the other option we have for the quilted jacket is the tamarack now um you might see them in online. People, lots of people have done kind of patchwork versions. Um, we're going to talk you through the basic version today. Um, what we've chosen for this is the burgundy needle cord because this needle cord is quite lightweight, it's quite drapey and we thought it would look really nice lined with this silk chambray we've got. It's one of our dead stock fabrics and I think it's called Lorry. Um, and whoop, where's my pattern gone? Underneath my fabric, there it is. So yeah, we thought that this would lend itself and you could do sort of detailing and um, edging and things like that in different fabrics. So next up, I'm gonna talk to you about this um, cape. We love a cape. Um, we love the versatility of a cape. And this one is the I Am Harry cape. It's a circle cape um, by I Am Patterns. And it is lined. You can make it out of a couple of different fabrics, but the one that we've chosen today is a wool blend. It's called Petrol Blue Animal Spot. And it is so soft. It is lovely. So, um, and it's a really nice weight as well. Um, and we thought it'd be really great to line it with this rust 
sand washed satin for a contrast um look at that beautiful combo and we're really really excited we might even all make them for ourselves Another really good fabric for jackets and coats is the Ventana Twill because it's a really nice heavyweight cotton. Um, we've chosen the Lupin jacket by Deer and Doe for this. It's a really great um, jacket for the sort of warmer days of the colder months, if that makes sense. Um, and you can layer it up as well, wear it with a big scarf. Um, and this rust colour is just so beautiful. Um, it does need to be lined and it can be lined in a rayon. So we've chosen the Shelley Lurex um, for a bit of a jazzy lining um, for a plainer colour. Um, and also these colours go really nicely together. We recently got in these really gorgeous gabardine fabrics from Atelier Brunette. We've got them in three colours. Almost said three. Um, we've got them in forest, chestnut and night. Um, they are so soft and they are just really beautiful as I said and we thought it would be really great to make an Ilford jacket by Friday Pattern Company in um, one of these fabrics. It's quite thick so it would be nice and warm. Um, also, controversial yet brave decision maybe on my part, but the Thelma boiler suit as outerwear. You could wear it with long johns, a big jumper and a big scarf. Um, so that's my suggestion for this. But yeah, these fabrics are so beautiful um, and, as I said, really, really soft. So next up we have this um, faux wool coating um, in this beautiful, delicate, light, light look colour. Um, it's lovely, it's really soft, once again, um, like all of our coatings, really, really soft. And um, we thought we would pair it with this um, viscose as a lining um, it's called Frankie May and it is really beautiful and it really it's kind of adds a pop of color um, and the coat that we chose to use this in um, is the Eden by Tilly and the Buttons now you can make this out of waterproofing all sorts of other fabrics but yeah as I said we've chosen this wool coating for a kind of warmer wintry vibe um, and yeah this lining Woo! look at that so last up we have this grey animal spot wool blend coating. As I said before, it's very, very soft like all of our coatings. It's just gorgeous and we thought it would lend itself really well to the Juno jacket by Paper Cut Patterns. As you can see, it's got a really nice um, pocket detail um, and you can wear it with a waist tie if you want. Um, as Lisa says, uh, it you can wear it as a coatigan, so it kind of is an indoor outdoor item and you can wear it over some loungewear as well for warmth in the winter um but it's just really gorgeous this fabric um and yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed our video about coats and jackets and capes comment below with your favorite coating fabric and pattern um thanks so much for all your orders as i said before we love to see what people are making so don't forget you can send us um, pictures of your makes via instagram or other social medias or email don't forget to like and subscribe and we will be back next week with another video thank you bye